three bundles. So Jay Cooks. All right. You would be sea cooks. Sesame oil. We do. All right. Announcement sort of video. I haven't done a cooking video in a while like myself since New Year's. It's just been I don't even want to eat. This video is probably going to be one of the last videos on this channel. It has anything to do with cooking. Because I've migrated them all to the Consortium channel, which is linked in the description of this video and in the sidebar of everything. And it's just go there. Future Z Cooks and everything will be there. J Cooks will be there. M Cooks will be there. Chewbacca will never get cooking. She's not very attentive. So, announcement video, yes. There's a new Patreon for just cooking, which will inspire us to use things because I'm going to share. I'm basically giving that all to my cousin and sister who are J&M because they need to be inspired to cook. I don't need to be inspired to cook because I'm fat and I just want to cook anyway. However, so go there. Don't if you're here and you want cooking videos occasionally, just sign up there too. It'll be random and light. This isn't random and light at all. Um, so right now, this video is actually going to be a real weird one because I, I, I had a sandwich. I didn't want to show you a sandwich. Show you a sandwich. So I'm going to make three drinks because I'm very thirsty apparently. Uh, we're going to make chocolate milk. And I've made a chocolate milk video and I'm just going to do it again because I've changed my methodology. We're going to do hot cocoa. Because it is sort of winter, even though the window's wide open and it's like 55 degrees. And we're going to make tea. And let's bring that up. Terminator's outside. To a boil again. I am waiting for it to boil. I thought I turned it up. I obviously turned it. Even the cat looked at that one. So I'm previewing the J Cooks now. And the chili oil, please. What He'll get into it. Stir -fry sauce? Yeah. That works. Never had this before. 31 minutes for his first cook. That's that's good, I guess. It's good. He'll get into it. He has to watch himself. That's the big thing. All right, that's already boiling because my oven's stupid. Tea. Get mug. You have to use one of the... Don't use a little ball. I used to have the ball or the thing you drop in with it. No. Buy a goddamn... I don't know. I don't know what this is called. Filter. Just straight filter. You put it in there. You pick your tea, and I have a selection of teas. And because I've cooked all the teas, I know this one's weak. This is weak. It's labeled weak. And that's important, because that means we have to put a little more. I basically, you cover the bottom with... It's, when you shake it, it doesn't show the bottom anymore, it's done. But this one's weak, so we're going to add a little more. We're also going to add more thyme. No, not the fucking spice thyme, you disgusting bastards. That would be weird. Thyme tea. Hold on. Thyme being how long it brews. And we take it to a boil, and I don't use a, like a, a, a pot that goes, wee, because, fucking, why? I'm usually standing next to it when it's boiling. Pour it in, pour it in nice and nice and right to the line. Don't go past the holes. Now, I might need more, wa more water, actually. So. I always use, if I'm gonna consume in the water, I use filtered water. If I'm boiling pasta in it, I'm gonna consume that water basically too, but you know, who cares, I'll cover this. Start the timer, my normal tea like chai and party of the jungle and what else do I have? Empress of Japan. All these I do eight minutes. Exactly eight minutes. Because how long it's in there matters and how much you put in there matters. So I've I've gotten this down to a science. Because I love my tea. So in ten minutes we'll deal with that. Now let that come to a boil again. Again, my oven is stupid, so it should handle that. But we could make chocolate milk in the interim. First thing you gotta do, and this is gonna be real tough for a lot of you, is go out and buy a Talenti gelato. It doesn't have to be Mediterranean mint, but this is the one that actually got finished. This is the one pint container. And you could do this with another container, I suppose. 
carnations in some breakfast because if you're gonna have chocolate milk, I might have might as well have some sort of benefit. Oh, I'm using whole milk by the way. I was a two percenter because I grew up in a two percent household, and there was a weird period of time when it went to like skim or one percent, and it was just. I remember it, and I remember just being depressed the entire time, and then I had friends on vent, they're like, what do you use, what do you, uh, somehow we got to milk, all right, it gets up to the milk conversation. And, like, everyone was like, whole, or 2% there was a couple, but it's just, you know, whole is just it, just, if you're gonna have milk, have milk. I'm gonna add some Nesquik chocolate now to this, because the Carnation's Instant Breakfast is designed for like eight ounces, which is exactly a cup. And I usually have more than a cup of milk. It's like 10, 11 ounces. So you can't just let it thin out. That'll be terrifying. Plus this adds a nice chocolatey flavor. This is gonna come into play with the, what's it called as well. So now we're gonna fill this up to the, not to the top, but like there. Close it and you can let it sit for a minute, but why? The action of violently shaking in a clo like a paint shaker. Well, all the bubbles, you're seeing all the bubbles? This is where the good chocolate milk... If you go to a diner and they just put it into a cup and then they squeer, squirt it and you... No, no, you want this sort of action going on. All the bubbles. When I open this up, it's gonna look like, mmm. It's gonna look like, mmm. Mmm. Why not Hershey syrup? I could do this with Hershey syrup. I've done it. I like this better. And I'm usually not, I'm not a fan of powder. But when you try to stir powder with a spoon, it's bad. When you do like a crazy, violent, closed container action, it's so much better. Water's boiling. I let it boil because I don't need much of it. Put it to four so it keeps, keeps boiling. Hot cocoa. Now, methodologies change violently for this, and you're probably gonna get all the hate mail in the comments. Fill this cup up. It's gonna be half water, half milk. I, I won't do all water, that's dumb, and doing all milk seems wasteful because of this, and I know this works. So since this is gonna be half cold milk and half hot boiling water, you need to pick your ratio, because with my hot cocoa, you can drink it immediately depending on how much milk you add. So the right now is like a third of a cup and I'd have to wait for it to cool down. So I'm just gonna add a little more. That's probably right. It's just under a half. Put the milk away. Put away the fresh miak. Okay. Nestle's rich chocolate flavor. Now, here's a good uh, thing for you people. Years ago, there was a Nesquik pump of hot cocoa mix. I found it somewhere, it was at one of the like Costco's or Sam's Clubs or BJ's, I don't know. But it was a box, and in the box was a was a pump, like 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 a pump, like a soap pump. And you would just, you boil your water and go pump, pump, and then a half pump, and it would just be the best hot chocolate ever. And that fucking disappeared, and I've searched the internet. I've Google image results and found like awards for that particular product, but it's no longer sold. And if you could point me in the direction of that, I will be eternally grateful. But for now, we're gonna use the Nestle pre-made powder, and then I went to Whole Foods and I found this Silly Cow Farms Hot Chocolate All Natural, and this particular one is a chocolate mousse. And this is like $6, and I bought it basically because it's a cool bottle that I got to throw at someone at some point for free with a $6 or worth. Actually, it's a, it's a $6 bottle with free chocolate mousse in it. So I tried using this entirely, just this, way too chocolate mousse. And this is gonna be a real complicated mix, so we're gonna add a little bit of that so I like the mousse flavor, but not, not a hundred percent mousse flavor. No one likes mousse that much. Uh, my my friend Hiboto, who's come over here every once in a while, he was like, "No, you gotta put you gotta put white sugar in it." And you know what? Just a sprinkling. I don't know what it is. And I use the quick dissolve stuff because I don't bake or anything. So this is perfect because it'll just dissolve. And we're back to the Nesquik again. I know this is four things going in this one. Like a teaspoon and a half. Okay, now one spoon is for tea, one spoon is for our cocoa. Now here's the interesting bit that's gonna happen. You're gonna stir this, right? 
Like you would stir, you know, chocolate milk. And something's gonna happen, or something's not gonna happen. Because these are hot cocoa mixes, because the Silly Cow and the Nestle packet are designed for hot cocoa, they literally don't dissolve in just cold milk. They just don't. They don't they don't do it, which is interesting and frightening. Because I mean you could grind it on the side like a mortar and pestle, but as much as you stir it, no matter how long you wait, as soon as you stop, you still got the bubbles from air trying to escape, and then lift up, you just get a oh god. This is delicious, by the way. So I just do this to sort of pre-game everything. Just pre-gaming a bit. We got three minutes left on that. This is just about dropped off of a boil, so I'm not worried about ruining my milk. And it helps if you stir. I don't add marshmallows because, I mean, Jesus Christ, I just added like four different types of sugar to this. Oh. Actually, I need more for the, for the tea or else I would just dump that and hang it up because that's how fucking badass I am. So we stir. You got a little bit of a foam on top, and you might see dark spots, and that's just bits that haven't dissolved yet. So just keep stirring until there's no more dark spots in your foam. Make sure we can take the lid off of this. So now I have cold milk. Mm. Come on, on. And now I've got perfectly tempered hot milk, because it was half cold milk. Mmm. And now, since I extended this from eight minutes to 10 minutes, I have two more minutes to wait for this. <sighs> Back to watching Justin. Get the pan, rocket hot. Bam, also gonna get a plate to plate He's got three plate. arms, that's cool. He also brought up the fact that I don't like, he brought up a couple wrong facts. I'm gonna argue here now over that, here, there, there, here. Is I did send my mother to the emergency room because actually she got had to be taken in an ambulance because I undercooked chicken on a barbecue and that's really helped me change my methodologies for cooking chicken to the point where um, why am I not drinking like a hot cocoa or something hold on because I, I I it was chicken thighs boneless chicken thighs there we go everyone's got the sniffles every one of my all the cooks have sniffles. It was boneless chicken thighs, and I cooked them on the barbecue, and I didn't want to burn the outside, because barbecues are not, especially like a 600 degree barbecue, and I couldn't get them to go. And because after I sent my mother to the hospital, I was like, hey, maybe I should change my way of cooking. I now use a tin pan, and I'm gonna eventually get to like real barbecue stuff. I think we're all gonna do barbecue stuff, except for my sister, you don't wanna watch her barbecue. I don't think she's ever barbecue, has she ever? I don't think she's ever cooked on a barbecue. And you guys are all after her, forget that. But basically, you, 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 you have to have two sides of the barbecue. One that's a cooler side, one that's a hotter side. And you chicken, 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 and then to the pan with sauce. Whatever, like, dripping sauce you want. And then you let it sit there and sort of seep for a while. And then back out, oh my god, you'll get more crisp, and then back out. And you do that until the chicken is perfect. And you don't send anyone to the hospital. It's much better. Sniffle. He doesn't like that walk. I have to link a better walk. He, I've noticed he, he's looking straight down. Like, how is his... You know what his kitchen... I mean, I got a tiny-ass kitchen. His kitchen is only, a, like... It's got two sides, at least, but... He's seeing, like, his dick the entire time he's cooking. And it's fine. It's in the middle. So he just stands real close to the counters. Oh, that's my. I thought it was his beeper. It's my beeper. Okay, hot cocoa down. Remember, we got to be on time for this. So here's what we're doing. We're gonna lick this up, and we're gonna tilt it. Let some of that tea water fall out because it's still got flavor. Now, since we didn't fill it up to the top, we've got not enough water in there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add more water. And we're gonna add it through the tea leaves because why the fuck not? I ain't heard no fat lady. A little more. Now, I'm going to open up your disgusting garbage pail. And this shouldn't be too hot to grab. And then you just go. 
And actually, those leaves will make the garbage smell better. So if you have disgusting garbage bag smell, make tea every day. Smoke weed every day. Make tea every day. Same thing. Rinse this out immediately. Just sort of like get the leaves out. That's done. This basically just gets condensation on it. So we're done with that. So now that's ready for tomorrow's tea. And now let's add chocolate. No, we're not adding chocolate to it. I'm not, not that sick. Quick dissolve sugar. And I like a sweet tea always. I mean, I don't understand the like of bitter things. I'm a sweet guy. And because my sister got me this crazy expensive fucking honey for Christmas, I think, or some random holiday, she's like, here, I bought this cut comb on it, literally honeycomb in it. Oh, my hands are wet. There we go. Now I have to add expensive ass honey to it, and it's very thick, so it's like... Ugh. Oh, if you're making this for a girl, or if you're a girl making this for a guy, drizzle honey around the rim. Oh, Jesus, better than I just did, because it'll, it'll put some honey right on your lips. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I fucked that up. It's, it's dripping. It's very sexy. This is very sexy stuff. Please stop it. Stop it from happening. And now just to give a little stir. And that quick dissolved sugar is really just like, it's done already. If you can't pick up any grains of sugar, there's a couple there. Keeping in mind that it should have cooled down a bit because it did sit for 10 minutes, but it sat for 10 minutes covered in a mug and that is not the same as, you know, getting cooled down. Our spoons are probably clean, it's fine. I know, this is the dish drying towel, but that one's over there and I have to turn more. So now I have tea, hot cocoa, and chocolate milk. This chocolate milk is looking a little sad. Need more bubbles. Put these things back. The honey goes in the cabinet. Tea, I'm done with the water. If it's hot enough, if the pan's hot enough, you can just dump out the hot water. Whatever's, whatever dots are left will just evaporate and you don't even have to dry it. This is almost there. And it's not melting anything because everything up there isn't gonna melt. So that's perfect. And now, should I just chug all three on camera? That'll all be hysterical. Mmm. That's some of the best fucking hot cocoa ever. Takes multiple in, in, in interiors, multiple ingredients. We could wash off this before it gets crusty and covered in dried milk. See, look, clean. Now there's carnations, instant, instant breakfast in there. Hold on, baby. Mm. Hot, still weak, still weak. Oh, I'm a huge fan, by the way, of the of the loose teas, the actual loose teas. I don't like like packets. So, I mean, I got these in Cape May in a place called Love the Cock. I mean, Cook. I have the bag. It looks like it says Cock because it says Love the Cook. And you can mistake that easily. And the chai is my favorite. Although I never have it properly with like milk. It's just a strong one. So this is a little bit weak, but it's got the right amount of sweet to it, so. <sighs> Any one of these would be great right now. All three, disgusting. But I'm not gonna make tea on video, so I'm gonna make chocolate milk and hot cocoa and tea on video. Now I gotta finish, uh, Jay Cooks. And remember, there's a new channel. There is a new separate cooking Patreon. Somewhere linked, probably in the corner again, I don't know. And this is gonna be one of the last cooking videos on this channel. This channel will be dedicated for the sim racing stuff and 
if I build another table or things that don't involve reviewing audio equipment, but aren't cooking. You know, there's everything else in the entire world to be here, which I'm almost at 10,000 subs on this channel, which is weird because I've had it forever. So I'll talk to you all next time. And hopefully I'll be inspired at some point this week to cook with peppers that are going bad and fry and that shit. Check out the other channel. My cousin and sister are just starting out. Be gentle with them and stop creeping on my sister. Creep on my cousin. That'll be even weirder. Take all the comments you would say to, to M Cooks and give them to J Cooks. But God, I want to rub your feet with my... Oh, just, just let it be weird for a little bit for him. It'll be hysterical. Uh, I'll see you all on the cutting room floor. Cutting board floor? It doesn't matter.